Albert Einstein once said, "Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid." Today on trial, we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does it make fish to climb trees, but also makes them down and do a 10 miles run. Tell me, school, are you proud of the things you have done? Turning billions of people into robots, do you find that fun? Do you realize how many kids relate to that fish? Swimming upstream in class, never finding their gift, thinking they are stupid, believing they are useless. But the time has come, no more excuses. I call school to the stand and accuse him of killing creativity, individuality, and being intellectually abusive. Here is the exhibit A. Here is a modern day phone. Here is a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Tell me. Here is a car from today, and here is a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? I'll get this. Here is a classroom of today, and here is a classroom that we used 150 years ago. Now, ain't that a shame? In literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare the students for the future, but with evidence like that, I must ask: Do you prepare students for the future or the past? I did a background check on you. Let the record show that you were made to train the people to work in factories, which explains why you put the students in straight rows, nice and neat, telling sit still. Raise your hand if you want to speak. Give them a short break to eat for eight or a day. Tell him what to think, and make them to compete to get an A. The latter will determine the product quality. Hence, grade A of B. Get it? Back then, times were different. All have a cost. I myself am no Gandhi. But today, we don't need to make robot zombies. The world has progressed. Now we need people who think creatively, innovatively. Finally, with the ability to connect, see every scientist will tell you that those two brains are the same, and every parent will confirm you that claim. So, if a doctor prescribed the exact same medicine to all of his patients, the result would be tragic. So many people would get sick. Yet, when it comes to school, this is exactly what happened. Educational mark practice, where one teacher stands in front of 20 kids, each one having different strengths, different dreams, different needs, and different gifts, and you teach the same thing the same way. That's horrific. This would be one of the worst criminal offenses ever to be committed. It's a shame. I mean, teachers have the most important job on the planet, yet they are underpaid. Let's be honest. Teacher should earn just as much as doctor, because a doctor can do a heart surgery and save the life of a kid. But a great teacher breaks the heart of the kid to allow him to relieve teachers of the heat. That get often blamed. They are not the problem. They are working in a system without many options or right. Curriculums are created by policy makers. Most of which have never taught a day in their life. Hey, take Frederick J. Kale, the man who invented the standardized testing system, and said, "These tests are too crude to be used and should be abandoned." If we continue down this road, the result would be different. We can customize health care, card, Facebook pages, and it is our duty to do the same for education, to upgrade it, to change it. Countries like Finland are doing impressive things. They have shorter school days, homework is non-existent, teacher have decent wage, and they focus on collaboration instead of competition. Let's let's get move on because while students may be 20% of our population, they are 100% of our future. So let's attend to their dreams and tell them what we can achieve. This is a world in which I believe a world where a fish is no longer forced to climb trees.